Hey, I'm Andy. We're back with some more Pokemon unboxing and unpacking, and this time we have the Celebrations Collections Dark Sylveon V. And let's see what it says on the back. This is my first time opening a Celebrations one, too, so. Uh, the Mysterious Voice, it's Dark Sylveon V. Celebrate the dark side of Sylveon with this unique look at the intertwining Pokemon. Or intertwining Pokemon. Uh, with this tricky ribbon and its disarming voice, Dark Sylveon V is the heart of a collection of Pokemon TCG celebration boosters, okay? Uh, can you master its strange powers? If so, peer into the mist and you'll find additional surprises in two Pokemon TCG booster packs. So it contains one foil promo card featuring Dark Sylveon V, oversized featuring Dark Sylveon V, four TCG celebrations, which are only four card booster packs. Uh, it also has two additional Pokemon TCG booster packs, one information scene and a code card, so... It's really weird with the packaging. Like, uh, I don't know if you can see it over here, like there's an indentation with the... With the Pikachu face. Which would have been... Would have been really neat if it had like a Pikachu style coin, like these, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just like, just for the... For the plastic, so... I do like that it's like, uh, I don't know, black and whitish. <laughs> so yeah, no idea what to expect with the celebrations. It does, it did say it had four cards per pack, which I don't know if that's, I don't know what's going to be like, like the Magic the Gathering aftermath with no commons, just rares and uncommons, maybe, I don't know. So we're just going to open up this and see how it goes. Let's put the box to the side. Oh, there's like the Pikachu face grooves here too. That's really neat. All right. So hopefully I don't reveal the code card, which I think is behind this Dark Sylveon. So oh, I did not mean to open it like that. <laughs> All right. So we got the... So we got the Dark Sylveon V, this looking evil? I mean, looking dark, <laughs> so. All right, wait, there's that. And the cold card is behind it. All right, so then now we got this oversized card. It does have, the, uh, the hollow doesn't have a texture to it. It's just a normal hollow. But I don't recall if all the other oversized ones I have were like this, or if they were a mix of textured and non-textured, but... Alright, this is another one to add to my over, uh, oversized collection. It also has the Celebrations logo, so I assume that these will have this logo, so... Alright, we have this information sheet, which I assume will tell us... stuff. <laughs> All right, what's it? Is it double-sided? It is not double-sided. Oh, it just talks about dark Pokemon? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess it, the information was just about the the Pokemon. <laughs> All right, so let's get on to the packs. So let's see. Here's our two celebrations, and we got Sword and Shield Battle Styles. I think this is the first time I've seen one of these packs. So I, I, I don't really know when this came out in terms of like the release date. So let's get these ones as well. So we got the other two and we got Darkness Ablaze. So we're gonna open up the norms first just because, just to dip our, uh, just to get like, into it because I guess the main stuff is for Liberations pack, so. All right. No idea what we're gonna get. This, this one's completely new to me. This one I think I've opened up before. Let's put these off to the side as well. All right, let's start with the darkness. Wow, that was really easy to open. <laughs> I mean, normally the Pokemon packs have ten cards, but as I said, as it said before, the celebrations only have four. So, means we got a Skitty, looking wonderful. Uh, we got a Rowlet, okay, we got a Wishy Washy, that looks sad, I think, <laughs> a 
Oh, we got a Qfant. Oh, we got a Sinisty. Okay. And we got a Reverse Hollow. Uh, Morlil. Never seen that before, but okay. Ooh, we got a Vicavolt V. Neat, neat. On our first pack, we have a Vicavolt V. You got a V card already. All right. We got our energy card. We got a Fletchin Fletchinder. I think that's how you pronounce it. Put that there. We got a Hiding Energy. And we got a Parasect. All right. So that is on our card. What is this? All right. Pretty start to the pack. I don't remember how much I paid for this. I, like, I want to say what I got on sale, but it's it's been, I really, like, I was waiting for it to open this, but obviously the booster box and all the other stuff for sort of, uh, not Sword and Shield, but all the stuff for the recent stuff got in the way. So I had this for a while, so I don't, yeah, I don't really remember where I got it from, so. This is what it is. Uh, we got Battle Styles next. Really easy to open up compared to all the other packs I've opened up before. So we got a Lickitung. Nice. We got a Truby. All right. We got a Hossy. Uh, we got a Murkrow. All right. We got a Bronzor. And we got a Reverse Hollow Phalanx. Which is a rare too, which is nice. Neat art. And ooh, we have a another V card, a Cricketune V. Nice. It's a mustache. A oh, mustache. All right. I mean, so far so good. I don't know if that sets the tone for these, but uh, we got our energy card. We got a Cedra. We got a Fan of Waves, and we got a Dotler. Never heard of that one. <laughs> and our code card is also this. So yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. If, or maybe I'm just lucky. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, the packs are RNG, so. We got four of these celebrations. Uh, I don't know. Does it say which does it have? Uh, celebrate, celebrate the greatest moments of Pokemon over 25 years of adventures alongside favorites from uh, Mew and Ho-Oh to uh, i can't uh the text is hard to read uh, is it lugia no uh anyways uh awesome parade of legend pokemon appears and famous pokemon from the very beginning return to join your collection and you even find flying pikachu and uh, surfing pikachu as both pokemon v and v max join the party with the pokemon tc celebration expansion okay so basically Fancy stuff, but so, oh, that that was a little hard. That was hard to read, even reading with with the the light. It's very hard, very hard to read. But anyways, yep, gonna open up the first one. If I can open up, open it neatly. I guess we'll open up this way. So since it has four cards, I don't know if it's gonna have a code card. I guess we will find out and see. I do see a code card, so... Yep, as you can see, we got a code card here. Okay. So, let's... do. we got, uh... uh Zakram. The... With the... Is it foil? Yeah, uh, with the inside picture hollow. Alright. Well, I guess... I guess they're all gonna be like, like that. We got a Reshiram. Okay, so I... I assume they sell one pack they're all going to be rares <laughs> which is why there's only four per per pack all right we got a grood on all right neat and we got professor's research that's neat also if it seems like the the texture is different from like normal pokemon cards maybe maybe it's yeah uh, maybe they're the same <laughs> and not dis disregard that. Okay, we got Professor's Research. Kind of breaking the fourth wall by writing on to the card itself, but okay. All right, pretty neat stuff. All right, on to pack two. All right, we're gonna open it neatly, I guess, or maybe not. <laughs> At least we open up the 
the first one neatly. So this one says train. Did the other one say train? No, the other one said train on too. Oh, I thought it said different ones. <laughs> Anyways, we got another Grudon. Okay. Uh, we got a Cosmog. Nice. The foil, so I, I do, I did mention this in like previous ones where I do like how the foil is like everything except the Pokemon itself, so. Next up, we got a Yvetto. Don't know how to pronounce that, so. All right, hey, oh, we got a Mew, nice. I don't like, I don't, I don't know the prices, so uh, if I see stuff I like, I just, I just like it, <laughs> regardless of the price. So yeah, we got a Mew, nice stuff. I do like Muse. So, yep. And, uh, aside with that, I I just do this just because I just want to experience the unpacking and all that stuff. Don't really mind about the... I mean, if I get some cool stuff, then cool. <laughs> if I don't, then it is what it is. RNG and all that, so... Not doing this to a profit. Just doing this to make videos and... And, and I have the time of this recording, not even, my channel's not even monetized, so. <laughs> it is what it is. I, I'm seeing a lot of repeats, so. We got uh, another Cosmog. Oh, I, I, I guess there's a lot of repeats, so. Yeah, because I just noticed uh, there's only 25 in this set, so. We'll, uh, we're not even going to get all of it, because there's only four per pack, and we only have four, so. And we already got some few duplicates. Anyways, got a Cosmog. We got another Yveto. Ooh. Ooh, this is neat. Like even even the texture of this card. We got a dark Gyarados. Even like the border is all bigger and stuff. Like I don't know if you can tell on the camera. Like the border is all bigger. So like it has the texture of uh I don't know how to say like one of those V Max cards, but as you can see it's not V Max, but Dark Gyarados. Nice. It also has the retro, uh, the retro like bottom compared to the stuff we got. It, it's different, so I assume this is a pretty good card. <laughs> and I, I don't know, like that. I don't, I don't know the set, so I'm gonna put that off to the side. But we got a good dark Gyarados. Okay. Ooh, we got a what's this? A flying Pikachu. It's not textured like the dark Gyarados, but. It's a, a flying Pikachu V. Very adorable. I think this is like the OG style where it's where the Pikachu is not as skinny. But okay, pretty neat. Put that off to the side. And we got another code card. Mm -hmm. Alright, oh, I wish that was the last pack, but who knows what we're going to get with this one. So maybe we get another retro style one. Who knows? Right. It's also like, with it being only four cards, it is kind of nerve-wracking to open because you might bend the card because it doesn't open like it doesn't open like this. It doesn't open like this really easily, so you kind of have to open it like this. <laughs> so no idea what to expect. I do see some blue on the reflection, so create a blue card first. All right, as you can see, the code card is all the same. All right, first card is Palkia. Ooh, nice. I think the the last game, the last Pokemon I got, no, or, yeah, the last Pokemon game I got before the the Pikachu one on Switch was Palkia. <laughs> I haven't played any one other than the the Pikachu EV one on Switch. So yeah, neat, very neat. All right, we got another Retroram. All right. Ooh, Blastoise. The, oh, you can see like there's a, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's like a spiral too. Nice. Very, it's also like, I don't know if it's because of the, the flash in the camera, but this is a very, very shiny for the inside, <laughs> but very neat. Another retro style. Nice. And we got another Professor's Research. Okay. All right. That was that was a neat experience. <laughs> like I said, I don't I don't remember. I don't know. I got did I get this from miniature? I don't remember where I got this. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a while. I mean, I could check my purchase history, but 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty neat in, uh, experience. I mean, I wasn't expecting that many duplicates, but then once I saw how many cards there are in the set, I'm like, okay, <laughs> we're bound to get some duplicates. I assume some of these are more... Like, I don't know how to put it. Like, they're, these are all rare, but I, I assume some are weighted to be more common than the others. Like, obviously, we got more professor researchers and restaurants compared to, like... I don't know, like, like this Dark Gyarados here. So, I assume some of them are way... Or, now that another not mention it, uh, it, it says, like, out of 25 on these ones, but then when I'm looking at when I'm looking at the the retro ones, it says uh, out of out of eighty two. So I don't know if that means it's like eighty two from the original set because I, I don't quite remember how many cards in the original set. But I mean, sure. <laughs> so let's see about the the like two V. It says twenty five as well. But then let's check the blast. Uh, this one says 102. Hmm. So maybe the numbers are for, like, the original numbers. Because I don't think it can't be two, right? It has to be at least three. Because this is the final evolution. I, I'm not, I don't know, but... Anyways, we got two retro cards, one V card from the Celebrations Packs itself. We also got a... Uh, reverse Hollow Phalanx and two V cards, Cricktoon and uh, Vicavolt from the two packs that it came with uh, as well. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Pretty good experience. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, don't know how much these are worth, but it is uh, nice to see. <laughs> like, I, re I really like the flying Pikachu. Really looks nice. <laughs> really, really, it's very simple, but effective so yeah anyways yeah hope you enjoyed it until next time well i don't know if i have any more i mean i i think i have one more pokemon related thing to open before the new set comes i don't even remember when the new expansion comes up anyways uh yeah until next time thank you for watching and have a nice day